This video has been long overdue. For those of you who have uh, been trying to print, doing air print with your salsa booth, then you're gonna be excited to see this video because we are reviewing the Aircast Pro 2. The Aircast Pro 2 is not new. It actually came out in 2021. So today I am going to be going over how you can do air printing with your Salsa app using a Salsa booth, Guac booth, or any other iPad shell. If you're not familiar with air printing, uh, let's just go over a little bit as to what it is. So iPad booths don't allow you to natively connect a printer to your iPad like you would with a Windows-based computer. You actually need to make it an air print printer, which there aren't very many air print printers. Well, there's actually no professional air print printers. The Canon Selfie is an air print printer. However, it takes like two minutes to print and the quality is not great. It's also very expensive to run. So in this case, an Aircast Pro like this will turn any printer into an air print printer that is discoverable by your iPad and therefore you can actually print from it uh, remotely or wirelessly. Now it uses an internal Wi-Fi to connect with your um, iPad. So if you don't connect it to an external Wi-Fi, you won't be able to share, but I'm gonna go over the steps on how to connect it to external Wi-Fi so that you can not only print, but share from your iPad booth. You may have seen my last video about the DNP Wireless Connect module and be wondering what's the difference between the Aircast Pro and the DNP Wireless Connect module. The biggest difference is that the Aircast Pro 2 supports a variety of different printers. So it does support DNP. It also supports Citizen, Sony, Fuji. There's a whole list on their website of all the different printers that are supported by it. This means that you're not limited to printing with only one. Now there's a lot of other cool features that I'm gonna go over for the Aircast Pro 2 and we'll go into detail in a little bit later on in this video. I was a little bit surprised that the Aircast Pro 2 doesn't support the Primera IP60, but it was discontinued during the pandemic and only recently brought back into production. So it's just very possible that maybe it's in the works. The other thing is though, is that Primera does have its own proprietary dongle. So it is also possible that maybe they just don't want to be used by a third party dongle. I'm not sure, but either way, just know that this dongle does not work with the Primera IP there's a couple of really cool features about the Aircast Pro 2. So in addition to it supporting a variety of printers, it also supports ICC profiles. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using a DNP620A, but please know that it does support almost all DNP printers. So regardless of which one you have, it probably works on here, but make sure to check the site. So it also supports the ICC profiles. It, they're preloaded into it. So as soon as you connect your printer to the Aircast Pro 2, not only does it automatically recognize your printer, but it automatically recognizes which profiles should go with it so that you can select it from a dropdown box. Now, are you not sure what an ICC profile is? Well, yeah. That's fair. An ICC profile, and I have to read this, is an international color consortium, which is just a fancy way of saying it's how it tells your printer what colors to print. So if you ever notice that your colors are off on your printer, it could be because you just need to change your ICC profile. Now, the default that comes with it 99% of the time is going to work for you. So don't even worry about having to deal with that unless you're having really, really big issues with color. The second really cool thing I love about this Aircast Pro 2 is it has an ability to do like watermarking, but using an overcoat. So DNP printers come with the ability to do glossy or matte finishes on their photo. And that's actually the transparent piece that you see in the film, in the ink. So that is applying an overcoat to it. And what the Aircast Pro 2 does is it allows you to use your logo as a watermark. And so you can have a glossy photo with a really cool matte logo on it. Now it is a little bit hard to set up and I'm not gonna go over that in this video, but if you are interested in doing that, please head on over to the Aircast Pro YouTube channel. Let's go into a couple of the technical details. How fast is the printing with the Aircast Pro 2? Well, it only adds a couple of seconds to whatever your printer speed is. So the testing that we did only added about four to five seconds of additional time to printing. So you're looking at anywhere between 14, 15 seconds and higher. It also is a little bit dependent on your internet speed. So we'll go over some of those steps a little bit later. 
In terms of what sizes you can print with the Aircast Pro 2, if you're using the DNP620A, you have a lot of different choices to pick from. Again, it is dependent on what paper you have loaded in. But for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do four by six, two two by sixes, and a really cool one two by six print. And the last thing I kind of want to mention before going into how to set this up is that it also supports printer pooling. So that's really great if you have a situation where you need to have more printers, maybe you have a high volume of people coming through your photo booth, you can actually connect two printers to it and tell it to pool, which means that it'll just distribute prints evenly between both of the printers so that you can print twice as fast. Let's connect your printer to the Aircast Pro. The first thing we are going to do is connect the Aircast Pro to a power source using the supplied power cable. To do this, insert the USB-C connection on the side of the dongle and then connect the plug into a power socket. You should see a red light come on inside the Aircast Pro to indicate that it is receiving power. Next connect the printer cable USB into one of the free USB ports on the Aircast Pro. Next you will want to find the other end of the printer cable. This is a square looking end, and plug that into the back of the printer. Connect the black power cable to the back of the printer then plug the other side into the wall. Flip the power switch found in front of the printer. A green light should come on to indicate it has power. We are now going to go over how to connect your Aircast Pro to your iPad and how to configure the settings. Make sure your Aircast Pro is powered on and that the light is green. Navigate to the iPad settings to access the Wi-Fi connection. You should see a network called Aircast Pro show up. Select that network. If you were asked for a password you can find it on the bottom of your Aircast Pro dongle. Close out of settings and open Safari. Click on the navigation bar and type in the IP address 192.168.4.1. This address is also located on the back of your dongle along with the SSID and password should you be prompted to enter one in. Once you have successfully connected you should see this screen. First select the printer you wish to configure. If you don't see your printer make sure it is powered on, then refresh the page. To access the setting of the printer click edit. The first option you will see is print size. Click on the drop down to see what options you have available. It will only show you options available for the paper you have loaded in. We are now ready to set up the Salsa app to print. Open your Salsa app and select the event you want to use. In the event go to settings then AirPrint. Enable AirPrint printing then select your default printer. Click on the Modes tab. Then hit the arrow on the right hand side of photo to open up the template settings. Our paper is currently set to print a 4x6 print so we are going to select a 4x6 template. We are now ready to test our printing. Start your event and take a photo. If you set everything up correctly you should see a print button under the images in the share screen. You should also see the printer you selected in the printer confirmation screen. Printing can take about 20 seconds to come out from when you hit print. We are now going to set up printing for two, two by six print strips that will automatically cut down the middle. Double tap the top left hand corner to exit out of the event screen. Enter in your password then select dashboard. Minimize your screen by pinching the screen with five fingers then open Safari to access the settings screen of your Aircast Pro. If you don't see this screen then enter the IP address found on the back of the Aircast Pro dongle into the URL bar and hit enter. Hit the edit button found under the printer list. Next select the drop down on the right that shows the paper size selection. From that list select 6x2, 2, 2. You should now see it in the paper size box. Make sure to check off the bypass HEIPR engine, then hit save. Minimize this window and go back to the Salsa app. From your event screen hit the settings button. Then select modes and click the arrow found on the right hand side of the photo settings to access the template settings. Select create new design then select the 2x6 layout you want. Make sure double 2x6 is selected at the bottom then hit save. Take a test photo then hit print. When printing with double 2x6 you will only be able to print in increments of 2. You should get 2, 2x6 prints that are cut down the middle. The Aircast Pro with Salsa app has the ability to print individual 2x6 prints. To achieve this go to the Aircast Pro settings in Safari. Hit the edit button then select the single 2x6 option from the drop down box. Hit save then go back to your Salsa app. In the template settings make sure you have selected single 2x6. You will now be able to print single 2x6 prints in any quantity. 
Keep in mind that doing this will consume your ink twice as fast as your paper is consumed. It is not recommended to do single 2 by 6 printing. When using the Aircast Pro internal network you'll notice your photo booth will say that there is no internet connection. This is because the Aircast Pro network is not connected to the internet as its sole purpose it to bridge a connection between the iPad and the Aircast Pro computer. You can still print and share however all sharing will be queued in the background including the gallery uploads. If you want to allow people to share images you will need to connect the Aircast Pro to an external Wi-Fi network. Open Safari to access your settings page. Click on the Wi-Fi edit button. This will open up the Wi-Fi networks that are available. If you don't see your network you can manually input the SSID, aka network name, and password below. Otherwise select the network you want to join and put in the password. You will know you did it correctly if the Wi-Fi IP address is bright green. And if you open your Salsa app you will see the red bar go away. You are now ready to print and share at the same time. Please note that print speeds will depend on your internet connection strength. If your iPad is unable to find the Aircast Pro network first check to make sure that the computer is on and powered up. You should see a green light to indicate this. If the green light is on, and the network is still not appearing. Power cycle the unit by unplugging the power supply, waiting 5 seconds then plugging it back in. The green light should come back on and your network should appear. You may have to do this a few times. If you are still not able to see a network, please contact the company you bought the Aircast Pro from. If your printer is not being detected in the setting page, first make sure that your printer is powered on. Your printer should have a green light on in the front. If the printer is on, try switching the USB port on the Aircast Pro. If that doesn't work try switching the printer cable to a new one. If you are still having issues please contact the company you bought the Aircast Pro from. If your printer is visible in the setting page but not printing, first check all your connections and make sure your printer and dongle are getting power. If that all checks out try re-adding the printer by deleting the printer. Then unplug the USB and plug it back in. The Aircast Pro should detect the new printer and add it back on. If you continue to have issues please contact the company you purchased the dongle from.